Hi everyone and welcome to another Fandom Fitness Friday. I'm PJ with ZooFit and today we have an absolutely epic workout celebrating an epic fandom. You may have heard of a little tale called Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien. Lord of the Rings is the first fantasy series, actually the first fantasy to be broken into a series of three books, first fantasy to have a cliffhanger, and probably, again, J.R. Tolkien being the father of epic fantasy, we have him to thank for Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Star Wars, and Wheel of Time. So if you have a favorite fantasy series, we pretty much have J.R. Tolkien and Lord of the Rings to thank. So to celebrate this wonderful book series, we have our epic workout, which is going to consist of 10 exercises, doing 100 repetitions of each exercise. So that's a thousand reps. Again, gonna be epic, but most of all, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so Lord of the Rings workout, 10 movements, 100 repetitions of each movement. We have 100 leaving the Shire Hobbit sprints or shuttle sprints. We have 100 Hobbit calf raises, 100 Council of Rivendell crunches, 100 steps of Casa Doom, 100 orc skull crushers, 100 spider planks, 100 helms deep high knees, 100 army of the dead arm circles, 100 Mount Doom climbers, and then finally 100 flyaways. And again, with this epic workout, we do have a couple pieces of equipment that you may need at home. Uh, we have, uh, we have, I use, a for my shuttle sprints, I use tofu containers, but you can use any kind of uh, distance marker. You can use your water bottles. You can use cones. You can use just about anything you have around the house um, to be your distance markers. They're going to be about 20 feet apart. We're also going to need mats for, again, most of our exercises like our shalob spider planks and our uh, if you're doing your, and your mount doom climbers you're gonna need a step for your step of cause of doom now i've got i got this really great handy um step uh, kitchen shelf step and then so can you step up if you are doing this at home you can use stairs um, you can use again anything you can use your couch we are here at peace arch park there's a lot of people um, experiencing nature along with us so this is awesome but we can also use a bench for those step ups as well and then the last piece of equipment that you're going to need is some kind of weight single weight uh, you can use again one that you can hold like a goblet for our, our for our skull crushers so that's what you're going to need you're going to need mats distance markers a step and a weight for this epic lord of the rings workout so for shuttle sprints, again, our, our distance markers are about 20 feet apart and you can go to and from however you like, 100 repetitions. Each way is counts as one rep. So running, you can touch, you can touch the distance marker and run back or you can simply stop and then go back and forth. You can also go around if you need to. For our calf raises, you can do this with or without your weight. You can do a light weight, you can do heavy weight, or you can do with no weight. But calf raise simply coming up onto your onto your toes 100 times. For our council of Rivendell crunches, we're going to be laying on our back with our knees bent. And all we're going to be doing is bringing up our shoulders. So I want us to support our head so I'm actually going to be pressing my hands into my head and my, and my head into my hands. So I'm supporting my neck and I'm just simply raising my shoulders up off the floor. But this is a controlled ab movement. So again, try to keep your abs tight as you raise your shoulders off the ground and return. So those are our Council of Rivendell crunches. For our Casa Doom step ups, you again, you can use a short step or you can use a high bench. For the short step, you're going to be stepping up, bringing our, our knee up a little bit, and then still slowly descending onto that floor, switching steps, switching feet, and bringing the leg back up. So up, switch feet, up, switch feet. So if this is too easy for you, you can graduate to a higher step 
or higher box if you have one. Again, being a little bit more conscientious of your knees on this, you can step up. Same as regular step, but when we're coming down, we're going to slowly descend so we decrease the impact on our knees. So even sped up is still going to look slowing it down on the descent. All right, for our orc skull crushers, um, I've got a 10 pound weight. You can use 10 pounds, you can use a very light weight. You can use your water bottle. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you use. Um, we're gonna be doing 100 of these. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna bring that weight all the way up overhead. Keeping those elbows tight, we're going to tuck that uh, weight behind our head and bring it right back overhead. So from the side, again, we're going to be bringing our, our weight up overhead. This is the skull crusher part. Bring it down behind. Our elbows are close to our head and then bringing it back up. All right, for our spider plank, for shalob spider plank, uh, you can do this one of two ways. You can do it on your elbows or on your arms. So you're gonna get into that plank position. You get a nice tight core and your shoulders are stacked over your arms. And then you're going to be bringing one leg up to meet your elbow. Each time you bring your leg up is one rep. Now, if that is, uh, if you can move to your elbow to an elbow plank, you're welcome to do that. Again, stacking your shoulders over, over your body, tight core, same thing. One rep is each leg raise. So our Helm's Deep High Knees is a pretty nice, kind of getting kind of a low key exercise kind of to help break up some of the high intensity we've been doing. But you're going to be bringing one elbow to your opposite knee and the, then the other elbow to the other opposite knee. So you can do this at a nice rhythmic pace. If you like to speed it up, if you're looking for some great endurance, great cardio, you can just simply high jog in place. And then we have our Army of the Dead arm circles, hands out to the side, and you're just gonna do nice tight circles. 100 doesn't seem like a lot. This seems like a fairly easy exercise, but after 100, you will start to feel it in your shoulders. A great mobility exercise. All right, for our Mount Doom climbers, you can again be in that plank position. We are going to stay up on our arms. Uh, and again, so stacking our shoulders over our arms, getting in that plank position. Rather than a spider plank, we're going to be bringing that knee straight to our elbow in a straight line. Now you can stay here at this pace. This will be a great core exercise, working your core. If you again want it to be a more cardio workout, again, still, still staying up on your, on your arms, you're just going to pick up the pace. And finally, we come to our eagles flyaways. Those lovely eagles that came to the rescue at the last moment. We're going to be getting onto our stomach. Our hands are going to can't come straight out or in a what we call a W. So again, straight out or a W. But we're going to be again picking up our shoulder, our torso, and our back legs together, trying to you our body up all together or again with your hands straight out for our flyaways. How was that? That was so much fun. Thank you guys for joining me for Fandom Fitness Friday, our Lord of the Rings workout. Let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. And as always, remember to eat clean, live green, train positive. <laughs>